to this week's edition of the Senior FYI. I am Debbie Pesca DiGiulio, and today I have a real special guest. My friend, Carol Donovan, who is the public health nurse for the city of Revere, is joining us today. And Carol um, has been with the city for some quite some time, but I'm going to let her, Carol, I'm introducing you, but I'm going to let you um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm <laughs> so glad to be here. And um just wanted to say hello to everyone. I am the public health nurse in Revere. I've been here for 16 years as the public health nurse and became deputy director of the health department last year. So it's been a whirlwind, but I do have an announcement to make. I put in my retirement and uh, my last day on the job will be August 21st. So I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to come to the senior center and do the blood pressures and meet all the people. That is the best part of the job. Part of the reason, part of the reason I wanted Carol to come and do the senior FYI today is because I know a lot of the seniors absolutely adore Carol. They're going to miss her, but I wanted her to announce her retirement. I think a lot of you may have heard already, but I wanted them, I wanted you to hear it from Carol. And um, and I want to talk to Carol a little bit about, I mean, I know she loved coming to the senior center and coming to the parties. And uh, and this year has been, this last few months have been really tough on Carol with, with the COVID. And so I guess, Carol, what I want to ask you is if you can give us you know, I might be putting you on the spot, but give us some highlights and some low light of your career. Highlights, definitely the senior center or the community <laughs> going into the senior center, going into the homes of people, blood pressure, um, uh, vaccines. I always give the flu vaccine to everyone. And that was just that is definitely the highlight of the of the um, job. Low lights. Um, I guess when I do surveillance, I call people that have picked up foodborne illnesses or hepatitis, and they don't really want to talk about it. So that's probably the low part of the job. But um, there's definitely many more highlights than lowlights of it. Well, you, you know, I, I know you're so social, you know, and that's that's why the highlights are always with the seniors and the people. Yeah. because. That you're such a social being. Um, and in the, the best part uh, of the, the COVID to me was working with some different people this year um, outside the mayor's office. I got to work with your daughter, Christy. Talk to me a little bit about your daughters and uh, working with them and um, working yeah, many, with. Thanks, Debbie. Many people do know my daughters. Shannon worked at the senior center since she was about 14 till she went to college. Um, oh, no, she was younger than that, probably 10 or 11, because it was before she went to Japan. And then she's been working in Japan for three years, and she's coming back in September for good. So she'll get a normal job in a normal uh, position and not, <laughs> um, not be, it might be, I don't know, maybe she'll land back in Japan someday, but not, not too soon. Um, Christy got married last year, my oldest, and she works in the library. She's been, her last day is going to be sometime in August. And um, she's, they're all, they're all coming with me to Maine. So Shannon, they, I have a big house in Maine now. It's a beautiful home and all the kids will fit until they can settle and get their own homes and jobs. So um, another chapter, it's kind of fun. So, so Carol, that is, I guess we, we kind of gave away your retirement plans. Carol's retirement plan is to move to Maine. She bought a big, beautiful house, uh, right? Where is it, Carol? I, yeah, it, Maine. yeah it, it, huge. Um, by, by, the, by the ocean, by lake? Oh, I'm on a cul-de-sac. Uh, the Sanford Lakes aren't too far, but the house has rocks coming down a slope, so it looks like it goes into the water, but it is a cul-de-sac. Um, Sanford Lakes, I could, I don't think I can walk to them. I think they're like five minutes or 10 minutes away by car. So, so, so what do you plan to do? Yeah. I mean, do you, are we, are you reading? Are you walking? What, what's the retirement plan? Oh, I definitely read and walk, but the retirement plan for the first year is just to settle in the house. And I have to do a lot of work ripping out rugs because I have a big mastiff and I, he's not good with rugs. So doing the painting, doing the, the stuff you do in a new house. Um, putting in a pool. I want to enjoy the pool next summer. 
And I am not a nurse in Maine yet. I have to do all the paperwork to become a nurse in Maine. So if I do that, my public health resume, I think, is pretty good. And I think if I put that into some uh, public health departments, I'll be able to get some sort of a part-time job there. Great. No, that's great. I didn't. I I, I figured that you would uh, you would maybe continue that a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, so Carol, I, I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to ask you. Um, how you highlight you highlight your time plans. Um, so if there's any seniors that may want to speak to you, this, this show will, will go on Thursday, this Thursday, which tomorrow we do tape these a day early. If there's any seniors that want to wish you well, um, mm-hmm. they-, they can all have my cell number. I don't mind phone calls at all. Okay. So Get a pen, get paper, and my cell phone number is 781-632-2781. Many people in the community, because of COVID, have my cell number anyway, so um, it's not a problem. I'm keeping it. I'll have it up in Maine, and I'll be answering it while I'm sitting outside watching the birds. So. Uh, <laughs> you, are, you are truly a treasure to this city. You are a treasure to our seniors. Um, they love you. I know they're going to miss you, um, but but you've made them. Um, you're, you'll be a great memory to them when we yes. do finally in, at some point. Um, but I, I can also do Zoom if you wanted to have a topic. You want me to invite me? I'll come on. I'll talk yeah. to everyone. That's a great idea. And honestly, what the what what made what you made this just sparked is let's let's ask the seniors what you know. Maybe we have a uh, let's ask Carol. Let's do a you know. <laughs> I love that Carol. You know, and, I love um, that. When they're in the senior center, can they be on the Zoom? Absolutely. Is that how you're planning it? Uh, no, we don't even have to do that. They can call in if there's the, if they're savvy. We can do a call in, Bob Dunbar, on Revere TV. <laughs> I love that. That would be such fun. Yeah, but you know, we um, we may have just started something, Carol. We may have started your retirement show. So, um, yeah. Yeah. so um, my retirement show—that's what I'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no problem. This is what what happens. Be great. That's what happens in COVID. We keep going. Yeah. So, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things come out of nothing. So. Um, but I, I, we wish you good luck, congratulations, you. and um, you. enjoy your last week. Um, and I will be over to see you. Okay, sounds good. Thanks so much, Deb, and thank you, everyone. Thanks, Carol. And remember, everybody, that's the best part of life. Be happy, be healthy. See you next week. Mm-hmm.